Understanding It's Not Clear, a guide for English learners. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our English language learning series. In today's video, we're going to explore a common English phrase, it's not clear. Understanding this phrase will help you improve both your comprehension and communication skills in English. So, let's dive in. It's not clear is a phrase used to express that something is confusing or not easy to understand. It can refer to a wide range of things, from written text and spoken words to situations or visual information. This phrase is often used when someone needs further clarification or when the information provided is ambiguous or vague. To better understand how it's not clear is used, let's look at some examples. 1. In conversation, imagine someone is explaining a complex topic, but you're having trouble understanding. You might say, I'm sorry, but it's not clear to me how this works. Could you explain it again? 2. In writing. While reading an article, you might find a paragraph that's hard to understand. You could comment, in this section, it's not clear what the author is trying to say. 3. In work or school settings, if instructions or guidelines are vague, you might tell your colleague or teacher, the project requirements aren't clear. Can we go over them once more? There are several ways to convey the same meaning as, it's not clear. Some common synonyms include, unclear, confusing, ambiguous, vague. You might also hear variations like, I'm not clear on this. This isn't very clear to me. Can you clarify this? When you're learning English, knowing how to use, it's not clear, effectively can be very helpful. Here are some tips. 1. Be polite. When you say, it's not clear, try to be polite, especially in formal or professional settings. Adding phrases like, I'm sorry, but, or, could you please, can make your request for clarification more courteous. 2. Be specific. If possible, point out what exactly is not clear. This will make it easier for the other person to provide the information you need. 3. Use body language. In face-to-face -face conversations, your facial expressions and gestures can also convey that something is not clear to you. I hope this video has made the phrase, it's not clear, a bit clearer for you. Remember, it's a useful phrase to express confusion or the need for more information. Don't hesitate to use it when you're unsure about something. Thank you for watching, and see you in our next video.